So in this video, I wanted to talk quickly about the pens I've been writing with in May 2020. These aren't the best pens or pens that I think you should buy or anything like that, just kind of what's been on my desk. I've done a lot of these, so go back into the previous months and you can see what I was writing with then. First up, we have this pen. This is called the Tombow Zoom 101. It's a ballpoint. I previously did a video about this as a fountain pen, but I got really lucky and I was able to track down the ballpoint for a really good deal. It's full carbon fiber, machined aluminum, and it's just a beautifully made pen. I like the fountain pen a lot. I found out it was also made in a roller ball and a ballpoint. I was able to track down the ballpoint, so I immediately jumped on it. It's not a push button, which I really prefer. It's a twist retractable, but it's got a nice twist mechanism, a spring return, really nice aluminum parts, just like on the fountain pen. And it uses a Parker style G2 refill. Came with this Tombow refill, which is totally fine. But in the future, I'll be able to put something else in there. Maybe a Easy Flow 9000 or whatever I feel like. But the point is, because it uses a Parker style G2 refill, then I know I'll be able to get a lot of great refills in there. And I'll do some writing with this stuff later on, but I wanna just blow through the pens now. So Tombow Zoom 101 ballpoint, super cool. Then I've been using this one a little bit lately. It just happened to find it in one of my bags. Uh, not that any of us are going out much nowadays, but I did find it. It's a Fisher telescopic pen. Obviously it's a pen, but it's a telescoping ballpoint. And it has this sort of weird design where it actually expands. It's quite small, about the size of a space pen, or not a space pen, the Fisher bullet pen rather. And uh, what happens is you don't push this, it looks like a button, but you actually pull it. And when you pull it, this piece kind of is spring-loaded. It unsprings, comes back, and then you pull this and it locks. And now you have a pen that's not quite full size, but it's definitely adequate to write with. When you push it back, the tip extends and locks. You can hear it click. Pull it. Doesn't like it fall, it like opens into a, it goes into an open position, but there's no action back here. You just pull it, it doesn't lock. Then you push it forward and then it locks. It's a cool action. I, I do find myself playing with it all the time. Like I'll just do this or basically that for, uh, you know, 45 minutes on a conference call, but uh, it's a really cool pen. And then uh, it does come apart I forget how it comes apart. Uh, but there's a real Fisher refill in here. Oh, there you go. And inside is, uh, it's a pressure fit in here. So it's not screwed in or anything like that, but it supports a full size Fisher PR4, which is like the normal space pen refill, which is very cool. But you get this small pen, but it doesn't have, uh, you know, a cheap or bad refill in it. It's got a full real Fisher refill in it. I don't know if these are still for sale or whatever, but when I see a weird Fisher pen on eBay and other places, I am always interested. So I try to pick them up and I found this one. Next up, I talk about this pen a lot. This is a Jetstream Sport, like kind of the standard Jetstream. Not the Sport, I think it's called, actually called the standard Jetstream. And it's in the 1.0 millimeter. This is just a great pen. It's like everyday go-to great pen, the uh, Uniball Jetstream 1.0 millimeter. Just fantastic. This is a new one, but I used it almost all day, one of these days recently. And uh, I don't know if I would like really track one down, but it was an interesting pickup for me. It's called the Schneider Slider uh, XITE. I don't know if that's Xite or X, I don't know, Xite, Xite. I, I have no idea, but I like Schneider's pens a lot. Particularly, they have great ballpoint refills. The slider series is quite nice. I had never seen one of these before, so I picked it up. It's a uh, bio-based, so it's recyclable, I guess, or maybe it's made of bio materials. This is like corn plastic or something like that. Uh, I believe it's recyclable. It has kind of typical Schneider styling, which is somewhere between like cool office and uh, or something like that. I don't know exactly what their vibe is, but 
totally adequate. Slight outward taper. You can just barely see how it's thinner here than and wider here, which I think is very cool. Click retractable. Basically all plastic except for the uh, the clip here, which is metal. Even this part, I believe, to be plastic. And you can open this up. And you have a Schneider. This is like one of their express refills, kind of old school ballpoint shape. I mean, it's a slider, but it looks like an express, I guess. And it's called a slider 710 XB. So it is an XB. That's their 1.4 millimeter ballpoint, quite wide and really smooth and fun to write with. But again, it's in this kind of old school refill. Uh, if this pen was a little bit nicer, it would have used the slider XB, like the 755, which is their kind of Parker style G2 refill. And the type of refill I would put into a nice high-end pen like this Tombow. Again, all the writing will be done afterwards. We'll just go through the pens. Uh, this is kind of another one I kind of randomly found in my desk. This is a friction point, 0.4 millimeter. I really like the uh, Pilot Frictions. If I ever need a replaceable pen, sorry, a erasable pen, <laughs> then uh, this is what I go to every day of the week. I always the uh, friction. And this is sort of a, a slightly nicer one. I believe this one came out maybe the end of last year, early this year. They hadn't previously had a 0.4 millimeter. And I think they might've updated the styling a little bit. So this is, to my eye, a really great looking pen. Got this really cool angular clip. It's uh, black on black. This is silver, but it looks like it, it's like almost a gunmetal uh, in this light. Maybe it's just because it's so close to the black, but it just looks really cool. It has an eraser that is viewable, like visible, which I don't normally love, but it kind of blends in. And it, the, uh, the, the clip is what clicks. And it has a, uh, a needle tip, or like kind of the modified needle tip that you see on some of the friction pens. This is the Pilot Axiom Ballpoint. I did a review of this one, I wanna say a couple weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago, and I was using it a whole lot in the start of the month, so I wanted to include it here. I talked about it in the review, so if you want any details on that, definitely check out the full review, but the basics are that it's about a $20 ballpoint, sold in a few different colors. I like it in this black, all metal. It has these sort of little dots that look like they're for grip, but they're just for aesthetic. And it uses a doctor grip style refill. It's just a really nicely made pen. I don't think it's anything people should go out and buy, but I like Pilot pens, so I picked it up. This is a Sarasa clip in their Vintage series in gray. So it's basically a standard Sarasa clip that I, uh, I think we all know and love but it has a sort of off-white clip, which is like vintage white, gold lettering, which is really subtle, but I think it's gold. And then the body is gray, which is not typically a color that Sarasa sells the zebra in. The ink is gray because when the Sarasa Vintage Series came out, it came out with mostly new colors. And uh, I usually like dark gray inks and to see a gel in a gray that would be usable day to day, I picked it up. I also picked up the Sarasa Grand Vintage, which I reviewed uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month. Lastly, I, uh, I picked this one up used. I thought it would be fun. Uh, it's called the Karanda Ash 849. You could probably just see it under there. The Karanda Ash 849 ballpoint is a very famous ballpoint. I think we've talked about it multiple times on this channel. It's sold in this fountain pen as well. Much less popular, but a pretty cool fountain pen nonetheless. So I picked it up. Fountain pen is, it has the angular or try, you know, the uh, hexagonal metal body, just like the ballpoint, but it's wider and uh, it's capped, right? Obviously the ballpoint is retractable. It uses a kind of standard steel refill, uh, sorry, steel nib, nothing fancy there. Uh, and the parts are, I'd say, honestly, rather cheap feeling. This grip is really narrow, has a big step into the body, and it's not comfortable. Uh, but it's a great looking pen when the cap is on. Just just really cool. I bought it in this sort of uh, like safety orange, neon orange, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't come out in video as well as it does in person. It's quite bright, like brighter than a road cone bright. 
uh, the cap posts in this cool way. You can see it has this sort of slightly uh, indented steel band here or steel uh, piece here. And this goes actually inside there, sort of like Muji does with their fountain pen, but uh, it's a little bit higher end than that Muji aluminum pen. With this post-it, it's, it's insanely long. It makes no sense why this pen can post. You just like look at it next to a standard pen. It's almost an inch and a half longer than a standard pen. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches long. Like get any of your pens and measure them out and see if they approach seven inches. It's, it looks like you're, it looks like a comedy pen, but if you take it off, it's actually a fairly, I mean, th this is, it's fairly normal looking if you take the cap off. The, I was gonna say it's fairly comfortable, but it's not. The grip section is just not good, uh, but capped. Such a cool looking pen and the 849, such a great iconic ballpoint that I saw this, so I figured I'd pick it up. It uses a standard refill, which is really nice, a kind of a standard international refill. It's a pretty good writer. It's kind of got that, uh, I would say, that German feeling, but it's Swiss nib. So do some quick writing samples now, and let's try to get these back in order. So first of all, we will go ahead with the Combo Zoom 101 ballpoint. This is going to use any Parker style G Parker style G2 refill you buy. So the fact that Tombow has a perfectly adequate ballpoint refill shouldn't matter, right? You could put anything you want in there. This only matters because it's going to come free with the pen, but it's a hundred dollar pen or something like that. So the three dollar refills incidental. Then uh, actually, let's stick with the keeping things in order. Fisher Space Pen. This one is another one that the writing sample shouldn't matter so much, but it's just the uh, it's the Fisher PR4 in the medium standard refill. Uh, we've written with this one probably dozens of times on this channel. We've all seen it before. Jetstream. This is the. Jetstream 1.0 millimeter. Just a really nice, really smooth, bold refill. It just, it's just great. I don't think everyone needs the 1.0 millimeter, but I really like how smooth it is. And it's just a highly legible line. Look down that list and the Jetstream just, to me, really pops out. It's just a nice dark blue, really smooth, really keeps up with you. Almost no gunk on the tip. Just a great pen, especially for like scribbling notes. Here is the uh, Schneider Slide Excite. And this is that 1.4 millimeter extra broad or extra bold, whatever they call it. Really smooth, nice writer for a ballpoint. It has a modern ballpoint feeling. Just recently on the channel, we talked about the uh, 1.6 millimeter Bic, which I would say is like smoother and wider feeling than this. This one feels more like a 1.0 or 1.2 millimeter compared to that 1.6, but it's still really smooth and really pleasant to write with. If you need a ballpoint just for versatil versatility reasons, like you write on magazines or glossy stuff or just like how they write, uh, Schneider really does a great job and you should check out their stuff. They're not that common in the US, but if you go to like Amazon and other places, you won't have any problems finding it. They tend to be a little bit expensive, but I really like it. And here is the, this is the friction. And this is erasable. Just like it's it just writes nicely for an erasable pen. I know Uniball has an erasable and it's just doesn't look that great. Even this one is light, but it's just a little bit lighter than a black. And uh, you know, than a standard black, but it erases really well and it writes nicely. Let's look at next to the erasable.
So here is the Fisher, and then here's the erasable. You could see it's a little bit lighter, but it's also a thinner, which it has this tiny little 0.4 millimeter tip on it. Uh, it's really not that bad. You don't, you don't look at this and be like, ah, that's just your garbage erasable pen. The frictions are pretty nice. And then lastly, we have the Krondosh 849. And this has a Schneider refill in it, a Schneider International cartridge in it, just a standard international cartridge. I bought some of the Schneider ink just because they're cheap and they're really well behaved and easy to use. This is a medium. It's a nice writer. It's, it's not very smooth. It has some, uh, not that it's like not smooth. It's just not meant to be super smooth. It's a day-to-day -day ink, day-to-day uh, -day nib with some little bit of feedback, which I like. This is the medium. So this is the Cron uh, Dash 849. The nib is a good writer. No problems keeping up with me. No spitting, no bad behavior. I actually like the nib. I wish this grip section was just larger and it didn't have this big step. I just find this pen to be very uncomfortable with. Sometimes I even hold it back here, which is not great, but I like the nib a lot. So this is the 849 from Karanda Ash in medium. So these are the pens I've been writing with lately. Uh, again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying these. They're just kind of what they've would have been on my desk. If you do want some recommendations from them, I know people like takeaways. I would say skip most of them. Schneider, good pen, but don't buy this pen. Just get an XB uh, slide, XB refill, whatever it's called and put that in your favorite Parker Style G2 pen. Ball, uh, Jetstream, definitely pick up a Jetstream 1.0 millimeter. It's a great pen and uh, just, I'm only always happy with it. I don't know that I would recommend this Fisher telescopic pen, but if you hunt around for weird Fisher pens, you will find some true gems. So check those out. Axiom, cool pen, not a must buy by any measure. Zoom 101, I really like this. I think it's a super cool pen. I'm, I'm kind of blown away by the craftsmanship that Tombow was able to produce in some of their pens, this one especially, but I don't think this is a pen most people really need to go out and find. I'm just sort of a geek about the carbon fiber and the aluminum. And then I really like the Sarasa Clip and the Sarasa Vintage Series. I just have really been digging. I think they did a great job with the ink colors, so I would recommend you go ahead and pick one up. I really like it in the grand, but the uh, standard clips are probably a little bit more easy to find. And uh, you can get all the bang for the buck without spending, uh, you know, 12, 13 bucks on a pen. So here are the top recommend recommendations. Thanks for watching.